anything else you took from me? Slides it over to Macy Weedham. And the Wildcats win that little battle. Forcing Farmington to regroup. There's a loose puck. Anderson back to retrieve. One for checker. When to put your memories from the puck, and it could be anybody. Right. Zinger along with no looking for someone. That's awesome. Yeah. Either way, yeah. that's that's what so you have to do. They, they have to hunt net. pucks, right? Yes. They have we still have, what, 20 seconds to go. Mm -hmm. Chipped off the glass, held in by Meisinger, chipped down. Katie Urich, good stick on puck. I like the mentality right here. The Cats are outnumbering. Oh! You have to make it an unfair fight, right? You're on the power play. Yeah, you, you, you got to be a bully. Absolutely. You know, and, Absolutely. And, and that mentality, there you go. Most of that power play was in Farmington's yep. end. And there you That's go. You Sometimes do. you might not score, but you hope yeah. your, power, your power play can build momentum. Yep. And you do. You, you spent time down there. Good things happen. Okay, let's you're go wearing out the next other, shift. Yeah, you're yep. wearing out the other team. Yeah. I think that's that was kind of proven earlier in the season. We were getting more penalties. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, when maybe you're a little offensively challenged, whether it be either team, uh, you know, you stay out of the box, play a cleaner game, you give yourself more opportunities. Yep. Chip behind the Farmington net. Little reversal play. All right, Caterlick. Here comes Morgan Mitchell up the left side. Looks like a two-on-one. Anderson challengers. Good back check. Good job by Maya Carnes. Forrester stays on Caterlick right there. Nora Drugi over to help. Good job. Got her skate in the way. Hayden Olsen, good play. Now here comes, oh, bad luck with the snow. And the rough. And the Where's the quick trip ice ice crew, Patrick? <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess that's Pro why they do that in the NHL. That's why huh? they do it down at the X. Yep. 22 is a big girl. It's hard to chip it through her. We got to go around her. Yep. All right, Nora Drugi, wheel it. There you go. You got Maya right there. Maya snaps it hard and relieves the pressure. All right.
Two minutes to go. Face off to the left of Whitehead. Nearly evened everything up on shots on goal. Yep. Good to see. All right. We got the top line out there for the Tigers. Got Sophie Sears taking the draw. Draw one by the Wildcats. Bauman, she's poised with the puck. 22 is a good defenseman. Let's see, good one on one. That's okay. It's, it's a way to own. manage the puck, right? Yeah, it's it's don't, don't give it away, not a big deal. Right. Good play by Lauren Murray, chip it in. You know what, that's not a bad play. You're mm -hmm. playing against the top line in the last two minutes of the period. Make them come 200 feet. Right. Just keep the play in front of you. Mm -hmm. There's a shot by Murray from the point. Good shot. Nice high shot. Watch the flyer up here. She left the zone. Good camera work to get there. They're not afraid to do that. They've got enough talent in the Farmington lineup on the back end that you'll see they'll they'll send a girl out to the neutral zone. Why not? Yep. One minute remaining. Little risk, but if you have the, the good poised defenseman, they do. Right. If you're confident enough. Yep. Sophie Sears wins the battle, chip to center. There's the aforementioned good, strong defenseman dumping it in. See 22 with the puck a lot tonight. All right, Hootmaker resets. She settles it down behind her own net. Oh, swing and a miss. Good try, Hootie. Okay, Ava's going to chip it. She's going to take the face off. All right, so there's going to be a face off to the left of Goose with 24 to play. Farmington out there with their second line. Patachik's got all seniors out there except for number seven, a junior, Lily Anderson. See how the older girls handle this. And the Tiger is thrown out. She got a little, you should try to cheat on a face off. Sure. And she got caught cheating. Yeah, you don't always get caught. No, nope. there you go. Let's see, Captain Katie Yurick got a piece of it. Nora Drugi, there's 20 seconds. Nora chips to the wing to Macy, uh-oh. You know, Macy was in our senior spotlight before the game. We'll tell you more of what she said. Lily Anderson looking to just run out the period, keep the puck on the wall. Two seconds left, and here we go. No blood after one, one to one. <laughs> there you go. Still even. Well, good first period, I think. I think so. Yeah. Shots eight to seven, pretty yeah. much what we expected, looking yeah. at the two records of these two teams coming in. Even on paper, even on ice so yep. far. Well, we will make ice. The ice is holding up on our fourth game of the day. That's good. Way to go, Egan Ice Crew. Now it looks like we're gonna be uh, some of the younger Wildcats oh, out yeah. there. Always fun to see, yes, especially for are. the parents. So where is number 10? Macy Weedham. So yeah, Macy was our senior spotlight. Asked her what she liked best about her senior year and she just said, you know, the wins we're getting, the progress we're making, right. and playing with the baby blue line and her fellow seniors and Katie Urich and Ava Meisinger. Um, yeah, you hope, you just, you hope they, uh, they're enjoying these uh, last few games together. Yeah. Um, and you know, again, creating some memories and, and again, they're trending in the right direction, which is wonderful to see. Yep, but they are peaking at the right time. Interesting, she gave me a little insider information too. They have a little, uh, uh, what is it, an acronym mm -hmm. where you've got uh, letters that stand for something. Mm -hmm. So the hug, and I said, what's the hug? Well, we're gonna play with hunger, hmm. urgency, and grit. I like it. And you're seeing that, that's the mentality yeah. that they're, they're yep. trying to do, and we've seen that since Christmas time. Yep. So absolutely. Yep. Maybe they started giving hugs at Christmas. Perhaps they did. <laughs> that you know, hey, can't hurt. So, oh, we got the young ones going out there. Here this, we go. This is cool to see. This is big time. Yeah, this is a big deal for them. This is nice. Yep. Remember oh. when our little guys and girls were uh, out here doing the same? Feels like it's about ten minutes ago. Yep. I love the uh, love the North Star colors across the way there. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That is good to see. These kids are fired up. <laughs> this oh, is awesome. I'm gonna take it. Good. Oh, everyone's. Oh. So 
they got the Bruins oh, versus the Stars, huh? Yeah. Wasn't that a big fight back in some <laughs> yeah, playoffs? I believe so, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Perhaps we'll see that this evening. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see who put on the foil maybe yes. here uh, shortly. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole pack of them. Vogel Torp. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at this, look at the speed. Oh, good defense. There we go. Oh, let's see. Oh, what a pass to Hootmaker. Off the boards. Oh, there we go, the stay home, stay at home defenseman. Yes. Oh, it's the, the double goalie. Oh, look at that, got some, got underneath that one. Lifted that puck. Oh, a whole lot of bodies there, can't see if there's a goal. But, you know, we'll just talk to the boys in Toronto. They can look at the replay. Let us know. You know, oh. I remember number seven on the Egan Wildcats, one Lily Anderson, mm -hmm. at this age, mm -hmm. was wearing goalie pads. Oh. She played goalie all year long. Oh. Okay. Her parents took her to goalie practices on the Sunday nights oh, all goodness. year long. Oh, fun times, At huh? the end of the year. <laughs> so do you want to be a goalie? No. Yep. I just like doing butterfly slides. <laughs> I'm here for the and slides. There you go. And that just shows you we play hockey. We yeah. don't work hockey. You just do it for fun, right? You have so, some, yeah. So she did volunteer to be a backup should anything happen to yep. one of our goalies. Because unfortunately, senior oh, breakaway. Brooke Kimmel oh, nice shot. did have hip surgery. Right. And so uh, we are down to just two goalies in the program. Yep. Addie Bronwell's uh, doing double duty. Addie playing Conwell, that, yes. Yeah, playing those JV games and on she, the bench at the ready. Yep. She plays, she plays the entire game in the JV game, and then she's right at the ready, mm -hmm. ready to play some varsity minutes. Yep, if needed, if, if called needed. upon. And it's great for her because she now is practicing with the varsity squad. Yep, getting that experience. And she's getting ready because next year there will only be two seniors. The yep. aforementioned number seven, Lily Anderson, and Eddie Bronwell. That's it. So those two have played their youth girls hockey together. Mm-hmm. And so many uh, seniors the last couple of years, and yep. now suddenly, then, and then there were two. A, a, a little drop off. Yeah. Um, but lots of youngsters coming, as you can see with this Wildcat yeah. roster. Yep. And uh, and I've been fortunate enough to work with the youth. There's lots of good players coming. Great. That's good to hear. Wildcats. So. You hear a lot about numbers yes. uh, kind of dropping off. I, I assume probably has to do somewhat with the pandemic. and. Maybe uh, kids not getting involved with that uh, with hockey quite as much. So to, to hear that is is good to hear. Yeah. No, I think there was a blip, hmm. but um, I, for our community here, it, it, enrollment's been strong. As you know, we we're both part of the the Egan uh, Hockey Association board, and mm -hmm. they work really hard in recruitment and retention. Yep. To get kids to come play this great sport. Yeah, absolutely. And they do everything they can with the great sponsors that we have around here with pull tabs. Mm -hmm. at the places like Wildcats or Lone Oak. And uh, well, those guys help yep. produce a lot of money that gives us the, you know, the funding to get kids started. Try hockey for Try free, hockey those kind of things. Try hockey for free, exactly. Yes. Yep, yep, that's how we got yep. involved. And, uh, uh, oh, that was a trip. They didn't call that. They should call that. Where um, are the refs? Yeah. Oh, they're um, not here. Yeah, that's how we got involved, and uh, I wouldn't trade those memories for anything in the yep. world. Oh, a whole bunch of bodies in front of that goal, so we can get it out of there. Oh, oh I, I think that snuck in. Yep, someone's raising their arms. They think it went in. Only 30 seconds to go. It's a nail biter. Yeah. You know, a melee could still break out. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, do we have an injury? Oh, it's stuck in the pads. No, he's, he's, oh, no, it snuck in. Oh. He's saying no goal. <laughs> is There's no is way. That every goal, is yeah. that what every goalie says? I had it. That didn't go past me. Come on, Dad. Blow yeah, the whistle. That was after the whistle. <laughs> right. That was clearly yes. after the whistle. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. One last chance for a break. Oh. Good defense. All right. All right. Good Let's job, kiddos. For the kids. Nice okay. job. Okay. Oh, All that was after the fans. whistle. That was that was uncalled for. Showing up the goalie after the whistle. 
All right, thanks Fun for stuff. tuning in to the first, everybody, in the United States, Canada, and Newfoundland. <laughs> we will be back after the Zamboni. See you soon. Bye-bye. I do have a dog. Her name is Maya. She's a super energetic boxer. But at the fire station, we have Sparky. Sparky's used for our fire prevention events. He'll teach you how to stay safe. Thanks, Sparky. How do wildfires start? Wildfires normally start when the weather's hot and dry. Wildfires can start for various reasons. Some of them are natural, like a lightning strike. Sometimes in Egan, we have wildfires start from trains causing a spark and hitting dry grass. Unfortunately, most of the time wildfires are caused by humans, and that's from leaving a campfire unproperly attended or from somebody throwing something out of a car window. Some of the stuff we use to put out wildfire are our brush truck, our brush brooms, and our brush water packs that we can actually carry around into deep areas and spray um, the wildfires and put them out. I do have a dog. Her name is Maya. She's a super energetic boxer. But at the fire station, we have Sparky. Sparky's used for our fire prevention events. He'll teach you how to stay safe. Thanks, Sparky. How do wildfires start? Wildfires normally start when the weather's hot and dry. Wildfires can start for various reasons. Some of them are natural, like a lightning strike. Sometimes in Egan, we have wildfires start from trains causing a spark and hitting dry grass. Unfortunately, most of the time wildfires are caused by humans, and that's from leaving a campfire unproperly attended or from somebody throwing something out of a car window. Some of the stuff we use to put out wildfire are our brush truck, our brush brooms, and our brush water packs that we can actually carry around into deep areas and spray um, the wildfires and put them out.
I built programming for kids to learn about design and incorporate things like Lego parts in their building and design projects. Fast forward to today, it's 17 years later. We have a wonderful partnership with the Lego store at the Mall of America. We have a partnership with the University of Minnesota's Architecture and Design School. Uh, we've also partnered with the Egan Foundation to create projects like this right here. I got a phone call from Brian Kelly with Young Lego Builders and Designers about two years ago, and he was looking to do some Lego programming in Egan. His model didn't quite fit in with our community grants program, but we talked and we figured out a way that we could help buy Legos, and then Brian could find other support for the rest of the programming. It's important for me to work with youth because I really want to see them excel in the future. I think teaching and building career exploration uh, around youth is, is vital. It's vital to the future of our country. It's vital to the future of our world. Programs that work with youth are important for so many different reasons. To connect young people with other youth that they might not go to school with. Brian is working with Artworks. I think they might be displaying this beautiful piece of art that these kiddos are created. So we're really excited to partner with Brian on this. How far does the water shoot out of the hose? That's a great question. How far we can spray the water depends on a few things. The size of the hose that we're using, the nozzle, and the pressure that we're pushing the water out the hose. We also have nozzles that are attached to the fire truck and are top of our 100 foot ladder, so we're able to spray water really far and really high. The hand line, the hose line that you see us holding in our hands, can spray easily to the top of your house and even over the house. Luckily, in Egan, we don't have too many fires because of people like you learning about fire prevention and how to be safe. So we only have about five to seven house fires a year. However, we also respond to other fires like dumpster fires, car fires, and brush fires, which can be about 80 a year. On top of our fire calls, we're responding to medical calls as we're all EMTs too. So we're responding to every medical call within the city. to the Egan Civic Arena. After one, Farmington one, Egan one.
pretty tight battle as we expected. Kylie Kuro for Farmington made six out of seven saves. And Goose Whitehead made seven out of eight. So you're looking at your screen right now and looking at ETV and we have all these fantastic people involved. And guess what? They're hiring more. We're looking for crew members. Uh, this job is open. And if you like to get involved with camera work, if you like to get involved in production or really learn about the business, what a fantastic uh, opportunity. Um, I know Patrick here has been involved. I know Dr. Joshua Alexander, who I'm subbing for tonight, has been a part of this, and the whole staff makes you feel welcome. And I was going to say, he hasn't been replaced. So no. That's not why we have the no, 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 no. thing on there. <laughs> he is doing important things like taking his daughter back to school. Took my daughter as well. There you yeah, go. Yeah, they rode back together, and now he's... Uh, Two for one. You got stuck with me. What's that? Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm having a blast with you. Awesome. And uh, he's uh, he's uh, roaming about the frozen yep. tundra of Wisconsin as we speak. So here's the replays, number 22. Uh, that is... Not McKenna, that's Madison Caterlick. She scored, and then the we got equalizer. Hayden Olson chipped in. We got a rebound off of Grace Forrester's shot. Who got a rebound off of Maya Carnes shot? But now here's the real game. And here's the here's highlights <laughs> from the, the feature. Yes, right. Oh, oh that was a, a beautiful goal. Oh, I wish I knew that kid's name. Watch yeah. this, a breakaway. Yep. Oh, oh, that was the after the whistle one. That's controversial. Yeah, yeah it yep. is. The goalie went after him. Yep. So the, the, they're settling it out in the uh, hallway as we speak. Good for good first period, though. It was that, a good I, first what we expected. Period. Yep. Uh, even teams on paper. So let's see who can who's going to bring it this period. Uh, yeah, nice nice to see those goals. You don't see Lucy get beat glove side like that very no. often. That's a rare thing. That was a good player making a great shot. Exactly. You know. Yeah. And. Um, Unfortunately, it was a neutral zone turnover that landed in the wrong hands. Right. One of those players that we that we mentioned at the beginning of the telecast, yep. uh, we were spotlighting. They, they, again, they they had these point totals throughout the season for a reason, and you saw yep. it right there. Yep. So we've got the seniors starting for the Wildcats up against the second line for the Farmington Tigers. Will Anderson back to retrieve, bumps it for Nora Drugi, a good call. Nora snaps it wide to Ava Meisinger. She's streaking in, and that's okay. Kylie Curl will swallow that up. Face off to the left of her. Same two lines out there. Let's see if Captain Katie Urich looks like she turned her hand over. She's going to try to pull it back to Nora Drugi here. And they won it. Nora chips it in. Meisinger to pursue a hard rim. Lily Anderson steps up, holds it in. Good aggressive four check and Wildcats go for a change. He got the old far change in the second period. With any luck, he can bottle some people up. What a play, Nora Drugi picked that out of midair. But 21 turnover, two on one for the Tigers. Lily Anderson, good stick on puck play. Let's get the player in front of her. Smart yep. play. Yep. Didn't, didn't fall for anything. Nope. That's what you got to do. Yep. Look at Sophie. She's got wheels. Oh, just out of her reach. Lauren Wedridge. She's got a hard shot. That's a smart, smart play, though. Back to Bauman. Bauman gets oh, a piece. Oh, big rebound. Sophie, good puck pursuit. Lauren Wedward, good body position. Watch this. Good job. Yeah, kept Good her job. wide. Yep. Yeah, had some speed coming there. Yep. Still managed to push her to the outside. Yep. That was great. Whitehead steers it aside. Here comes Drugi wheeling. I don't think Drugi's changed yet, right? No. She's at the right. end of a shift. She's yep. not tired, though. Nope. She's got more to give. Now there she's she like, Hootie, help me. And Natalie Hootmaker comes out. Lauren Murray holds it in on her back end. Chip to center. This should be an easy play for Hootmaker. She makes it look easy. Off the wall, and they got it. Oh, look at this. Oh, Sophie nice. Sears. Oh, tricky shot. Yeah, it was a tricky Bit shot. Bit of a high knuckle yep. there. Good play. Good body position. Wildcats coming out with the sense of urgency. The Tigers are trying stretch passes. They're taking long, risky stretch passes. And just like the cornerback watching a quarterback's eyes, the Wildcats are 
sitting back and picking those off. Yep, they, they, they're noticing this yep. right away. Tigers, uh-oh, this is trouble. Ooh. Shot wide. Just a bit outside. Just a bit. Here goes Lauren Murray leading the rush. We'll see her kick it wide. Nope, she's going to dump it in. She should probably change instead of pursue that, but we got a whistle. I'd just like to see her at the end of the shift. Hey, if you're tired, dump it. Yep, yep. Get off and change. Fresh we, legs. we don't need you to chase that. Yeah, especially the the, uh, the long change right. long change <clears throat> period. Yep. And so, in my pregame digging for dirt on the teams, Ooh. we I've did this see about you. we you did for see the dirt. Lucy Whitehead having some pad trouble, and. Coach Patachik, you know, she was a goalie in college and high school. Yep. yep. So she knows how to fix goalie pads. So that is equipment that, manager a little bit of slash head yeah. coach. Yep. Jessica Patachik working on the left pad of Lucy Whitehead. Yep. A lot, lot of tools in the old toolbox there. And thankfully, the stripes are working with it. Yeah. Some of the Wildcat faithful. I think they're just having fun, right. getting fired up. <laughs> right. I was going to say, they uh, didn't see the boys at the last game until very late. I thought, wow, this is a rather quiet yeah. game. And they're they're uh, they're here tonight, that's for sure. So Lucy had a strap that came loose. Jessica did a little repair on it. And maybe we didn't, maybe it needs a little more. Yeah. Yeah, nothing a little duct tape can't fix, right? No, that's right. But you know what? And there she goes. She's calling trainer D for more tape. Hmm. So there's your athletic trainer. That's good. Oh, scissors. Oh. Teamwork. Jojo. Teamwork. That is teamwork. And That's then right. Jojo, you know what she does her full time position, Coach Jojo? No. She's a Lakeville police officer. Really? Huh. So Interesting. We're we're safe in in her hands tonight. Good. All right. Thank you for everybody's patience. It's good to have everybody safely. Outfitted, mm -hmm. especially the one seeing vulcanized rubber shot at him. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that probably needs it the most. Yes. Well, this gives folks a good opportunity to head to the fridge. Yep. Grab something. That's right. Hopefully something warm on this uh, not so balmy night. Yes. It's going to only get worse from here. Well, I know we have people tuning in from all over. So maybe in other parts of the country, it's not as cold as it is here. Probably not. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there's snow south of us mm -hmm. towards Iowa. I know there's people tuning in there. I know there's snow in Michigan. There's people tuning in there. Mm -hmm. And there's a young man in Boston tuning in tonight, he told me. Is he so, now? Yes. Fresh off the plane. There you go. So this is... These referees are, and I'll give the Farmington coaches credit. Very relaxed. Being very over there. patient. Yeah. Yep. I think these they know these things. No. Nope, exactly. Well, you know, he's a. You mentioned he has 15 years of experience. He's seen a little bit of everything. That's true. So um, I'm sure he has. This has probably happened on his bench before. So he's probably seen everything. Coach Holmes told me he's been a high school teacher at Farmington for 20 years. Oh wow. And and a girls head coach for 15. Nice. So. Good. I'm sure he's seen a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Well, it's turned into a rain delay. Yeah. You see the girls on both sides trying to stay loose, yes. dancing a little bit, yep. enjoying uh, Queen. Yeah. If you guys can hear over the uh, loudspeakers right. here. Yep. Classic rock tonight there at the Egan Sick Arena. Hey, and we're back. everybody's happy. All right. All right. Hey, we've snuck ahead on uh, shots on goal, I'm noticing. There you go. Nine to eight. They were a couple that just trickled on net. But yep. Farmington wins the draw. Anderson handles it center, indirect pass off the wall, just out of reach for Barry. Here come the Tigers. Dump, and they'll go to work. Uh-oh. 
There's a wide, ooh, nice play by Try Goose. To, to, yeah, it was, that was Went tricky. off the shaft of her stick. Uh -huh. A nice tricky play there though by the Farmington yes. player. And, yep. uh, but uh, yeah, Lucy was uh, definitely paying attention there. And coach Jojo said, I've seen enough. Let's get a new pair of D, try mm -hmm. again. All right, so I got the same group of forwards out there. Sears to take the draw. And the Wildcats come away. It wasn't a clean win, but the Wildcats have the puck. Good play by Hootmaker just to get in her way. That's okay. Caitlin Berry down behind the net. Nice Good. play, Sophie. Nice, yeah, That's nice a great block. block. Yeah, right where she Here just you go. charging that shooter. Yep. Sophie sneaks behind the defenseman. Sophie Sears. Breakaway. Oh. And Kylie Curl swallows it up. Nice thought. Didn't get Good up. try. Yeah, nice. Nah, probably trying for under the bar a little bit more. Maybe it was in a little too close. I don't know. Or at least the zone. Here, here's here's the replay, replay, though. She comes down, goes to her forehand, and yeah, I think she tried to go high gloves, just didn't get everything she wanted on it. Great replay, though. Thanks yep. for that. All right. Yurik wins the draw. Back to Murray. Okay. It's nice. not a bad shot, it's a nice but if low you shot. look at that, there was zero traffic in front. Yeah, it's true. That's true. But a nice low shot. Yes. You know, maybe it, get, it bounced off a pad, but like you mentioned, Eric, there was nobody around uh, to clean that up. And I know that is something they've been working on. Mm -hmm. They, they got it. They, they they just don't have the goal scoring right. prowess that you had last year. So they got to do it by numbers, right, yeah. and by committee. Well, you got to get pucks to the blue paint and right. get those dirty goals that they they have of late. Yep, that's what's going to get you those wins. Or at least yes. the, the games that's are a right. lot tighter. And what I'm noticing too is yep. that uh, they're not getting out shots. They're out shooting other teams as yes. of late, which was not happening. Um, so yeah, I mean, you maybe don't have the uh, offensive uh, prowess of uh, other previous seasons. Right. You find goals any way, any other that way you can. There's the whistle. I was going to say that puck went out of play, no whistle. Hmm. Good rebound control by Lucy Whitehead. Just steered that up in the crowd. Yeah, some greasy goals and some ex uh, excellent goaltending go. can take you a little yep. ways in the playoffs. They have to take away the goalie's eyes. Yep. I, most high school goalies should stop a shot they see coming from the point. Absolutely. This right? level, yes. by this point, uh, otherwise you're not in yes, goal. Yes, right. Yep. So what do you do? You get in front of them so they can't see it. You screen, you tip, you deflect. Mm -hmm. Then you get a rebound. That's going right. to be the key to their success, that's for sure. What a perfectly laid puck. Oh, look out. Good hustle back, Hayden Olsen. Oops, 16 still with the puck. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. No. That's unfortunate. That's a tough one. That puck kind of knuckled on Whitehead, and yep. she wasn't able to handle it. And then there was a big juicy rebound. Watch that, this. That uh, same player scored the first goal, 22. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, you can see the reaction by Lucy there. She wants that back. Amelia Goblers was the shooter. Yep. Number 16. She took the shot on goal. Took a funny hop. Credit to Farmington for keeping that in the zone. There you go. They really fought to they, keep that in the did. zone, and uh, things happen. So tough break. Okay, here it we is. go back. There you go. There we go. Edward, snap it. Oh, Whew. just it's a good hard shot. She's got a good shot. And the Wildcats go back. We're Scoring Sears down the below. Farmington Tigers, her second goal of the game. Number there you go. Madison Catterlick. The assist goes so to Madison Catterlick. The defenseman got her second of the night. Mm -hmm. At number 17, Addison Trapp. An even strength goal scored at Number 16, four, Amelia Go Goblersh. She made it happen. That's and Catterlick got her 11th of the year, second of the night. Interesting, even though, uh, defenseman crashing that like that oh, yeah. in the right place. Right. You wouldn't normally see that? No. Well, it just shows she's a good skater. She's got good hockey sense. She's in the right spot. She kind of saw an odd man break. And right. Coaches trust her to yep. make the right, right. right decision. Yes. Explains why she's going on to play some college right. hockey. There you go. Good pass by 19. Snapped it up. Bricko to number two, Gerke. She dumps back. Anderson behind her own net. Stops on the puck. Rims it up. Back to the point, though. Top line out here for Farmington. 
Back to her good hard shot, good low shot. There's a rebound. You got to come up with that. Whiteward chips, not out. Wildcats need a whistle. There you go. Back on their heels oh. just a tad bit. All right, well, Lauren relieved the pressure. Maybe we'd like to have seen a little softer touch on that. Well, I mean, it's had you know, more time than she thought. Yeah, you know, that, yeah, that, that's that's all there. That's a younger, that's a younger player. It thing, is, and, that, and that's not a knock on her. No, that's just that again, it comes right. with experience. But correct, I'm, I'm sure she's thinking that uh, she may put a little bit less on that than uh, than she actually did. I think the center next to her, 22, has got to scream for that puck. Mm. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. You got to help each other. Great. All right, here we go. Meising her back in her own zone. She's going to wheel the net, try to use her wheels. Caterly holds it in. There's a scramble in front of Whitehead. Looks a little bit like the Mike game right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Sometimes it's not pretty. No, it's ice. All right. It's slippery. Yes, there you go. And it does get slippery. It does. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, Senior spotlight, Macy Weedham's going to go to the box. <laughs> she didn't list that as one of her no, favorite things not. to do. No, we could go down and talk to her for two minutes. No, that's right. <laughs> Here's the replay. E see coming yep. up. Yep, right there. Got her stick in the spokes. Yep. Okay. I did do how do we know how the PP is doing for Farmington? No, that that might be a stat that I skipped. No, it's okay. I can tell you how many they've had. Okay. How uh, many? <laughs> they have had uh, 48 power. Right. This is their 49. There you go. A percentage, uh, what they've scored on? Don't know. Uh, let's see what they run here. Nora, good job. So important to face off win. Watch that. A minor so you dump the puck on the draw. And it's going to see how long it takes them to reset. It's something oh. like normally it'll get you 25 seconds before they reset it. And in this case, yeah, we're at the 141 mark. We still have possession. Now it's a, you know, we've killed 30 seconds just from winning a faceoff, right? So important. Nice job. Nice play. Good aggressiveness by the Wildcats, mm -hmm. right? And you force the dump. They can't set it up. They've the Wildcats have really changed that. They were so passive early on. Right. Much more aggressive now. Oh, good position. And right see. there, even in the neutral zone, they're gapping up. They are forcing yep. a dump or challenging yep. them to make a play. Yep. Yeah, they were kind of laying back. Uh, gap control wasn't necessarily the best, and that's definitely tightened there up. There you go. Charge that shooter, and uh, you know they got a lot less to shoot at. Yep. Absolutely. All right. Buck 12 left in the power play. And Farmington wins the important faceoff. Now they do have control. Let's see what they do. Kaderlik sets up. Finds a sister in the corner. There she is at the top shot. There's McKenna Kaderlik back to her sister. They probably made that pass a couple times, huh? Yeah, I imagine they've seen that once or twice, yes. Good stick there by Hootmaker. Good job. There you go. We like to see the kids, all right, if there's a loose puck or they have their back turn, we like to see them jump that play. And again, force mm -hmm. something. Like, they don't have control. Right. Once they have control, then you can back off. Oh, that's pretty good. An unforced error there. That Farmington was nice. iced yeah. it on the power play. So there's 30 seconds left. The Wildcats can win this face off and maybe just chip it deep. Maybe they can come out of this unscathed. We've got Maya Carnes out there with Ava Meisinger taking the draw. How about that, number 19? I think I've seen that this season, have you? No, mm -hmm. we got Nora Drugi. Ava, former lacrosse player though. She's got good hands, that a girl, she's feisty. Her feet. There you go. Maya Carnes on the floor check. That's a great step mm -hmm. up there by Drugi. Look at that, 20 read, seconds to go. Read that beautifully, yep. Maya Strong just chips Ava Meisinger. Dog on a bone, she's after it. Here goes Maya, there's 10 seconds left in the power play and Drugi slaps it down. Good job, Cats. Here comes Meisinger, gonna challenge Katerlich. She rims hard, Drugi picks it off he again. There, oh. All right, back they come. 
That's Macy Weedham out of the box. Doggedly chases down the puck here and forces an offsides. Like you mentioned, Eric, great aggressive kill. Yep, that was. Really was. They may be set up for about 20 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. And they they got one shot, but it was not on goal. Right. It was blocked by Hootmaker. They're just kind of running around a little bit there. Yep. Okay. Sophie Sears out there with Bauman and Caitlin Berry. There's Anderson in the corner. Good pressure by Farmington. Lily goes back to her partner, Nora Drugi. Sophie Sears helping down low. Sophie Sears turning on the Jets, goes wide to Bauman. Bauman chips. Hard to beat that girl. Kadalik shows a good defensive play. Anderson back to pick it up. She's going to turn on the wheels. She oh, gains she the comes. corner. She's looking. Looking for somebody to pass to. She wheels around one more time and dumps it back. Pulled three players over to her. Or the wild, yes, the Wildcats did change there. Mm. That's one of those where I was talking. I'd almost prefer, whether it's number seven or whoever, when you're coming down there, mm -hmm. just put the puck on goal. Mm -hmm. Because by the time you skate behind the net, the opposing team is taught to back check. So now you allow them to get into position. Mm. And so she rounded Good the net, point. there was nobody to, call, you know. See, I thought was that was kind of uh, Caprizoff-ish. Yeah, I was I'm like, well, let's it, see, her, let's see her do a couple pretty laps it, here. This will look cool. It can be. Yeah. Well, she got the wheels for it. Yep, that's for sure. So yeah, on one hand you say, hey, that's good. That's a poised play. We didn't right. rush anything. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we came away with nothing. Right. But it's got to be the whole team. Like we, we got to have a middle lane drive. Somebody's got to be yeah. crashing the they're net. They're pulling the three, the three yep. over there. There's yep. got to be someone screaming for that puck coming down the middle. That's true. I know that's something Coach Patachik is working on mm -hmm. with the team and trying to build those concepts. Well, that's a good face-off play. Back to Murray, chipped in. Maya Carnes settles. Oops. Taylor comes out, wheels the net. Nice play by Hootmaker. That might be a little yeah. interference, and it was. You know what? That's a. If Natalie keeps her feet moving there, she makes the play. Okay. She didn't have to yeah. step into her, right? She right. she stepped into her lane if she just keeps her feet moving while well, it's the replay. This is a good replay. angle. This a perfect angle. Right? So, yep. Tough play. That's a good yep. hockey player right there, 22 coming down on Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah, and I'm sure that's on her mind. Yep. Doesn't want to get yep. beat. Everyone to our left loves the call. To the right, not right. so much. Right. All right. So back on the Farmington power play, here we go. Farmington wins the draw, but Ooh. there's another unforced error. An erroneous pass out to mid center. Let's see, aggressive. Oh, good zone entry by the Tigers. I think Nord would like to have that one back. Nice little move by number 21, Kennedy Meyer. Minor penalty has been assessed. Kennedy's a junior. Kennedy. That was Kennedy a nice little play. Maker. Two minutes for oh, oh that's sweet. Oh, my goodness. Late call. So, I think he called two trips two there. Two I think he race. called Katie Urich for a trip. Hmm. And then, after 22 was down and out, she tripped Katie. Got the stick. Yeah. I didn't see the second trip. So, yeah, that's, clearly that's what they're calling. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, the Farmington parents don't like that. Yeah. However... Both girls fell down on stick violations, right. so it's hard to argue. Yeah. All right. Still a power play. Here comes 21 Meyer. Held up by Nora at the red. Nice play, Nora. There you go. You got to jump that. Good job, GC Bauman. Dumps it over to Sears. So this Tiger power play is going to look a little different without 22 on the <laughs> ice. Just a tad bit, yes. There you go. Katie Klotz, junior defenseman, is out there kind of playing the back point now. Lily Anderson bites down low. Killing a lot of time off yeah. this power play. Yep. There you My go. Sophie chips back to Anderson. Teams. Anderson dumps it back. Bauman retrieves. 40 Katie seconds Uri, left for on the power play. Sophie Sears, good 
What a floor check. What a PK so far. Yep. Good work. Wow. Oh, they're oh, oh, right up. Oh, I good saw look. what they're doing there. Yes. Here comes Nora. Nora, walk it in. Down the middle. Oh, good stick. There's another trip. And here you go. Trip. We're going to have four on four for 20 seconds, and then the Wildcats will go on the power play. Trip seems to be the penalty of choice this part of the game. It's hockey day in <laughs> Minnesota, not tripping day in <laughs> no, Minnesota. No, not so much, no. Well, you know, it's better than elbows or fights. Oh, I, I prefer you know that what? than yes. someone getting checked. And getting, yeah, <laughs> well, I, 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 there wasn't a complaint, no, really an observation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I love it. No, I, I, yeah, those plays kind of, Okay, four on four see. for 20 seconds, Patrick. There it is. Oh. Wow, nice feed. We got Grace Forrester out there to her senior buddy, Maya Carnes. Mm -hmm. Maya snaps it. Has been to Farmington's Let's number see. 21, Kennedy Is replay Maya. of that? Be interesting to see. Yep. So there's a Kennedy change. Meisinger Maya out for Forrester. And that is Farmington's Meyer, two minutes minor trip. Wildcats win the draw. Carnes chips in. She likes what she's doing, just a four check. It is working. There's Meisinger back to Lauren Murray. Lauren Murray hits a shin pad. Egan, full strength. And here you go. You got to get two people on the puck there, Egan. Lily Anderson's got to get in the zone. We're on the power play. There you go. Get there, Maya Carnes. There you go. So it's a little. The lines are a little scrambly right now. Yeah. And Lucy Whitehead, maybe she recognized that. She's yep. going to swallow it up, and they're going to get power play one out there. Yeah, wisely uh, just kind of hung on to that and, yeah, change it up. One minute, 16 seconds left in the PP for Egan. 4.27 to go in the second face off to the left of Whitehead. It's a big face off for Sophie Sears. Let's see how the Wildcats handle it. She wins it back. Anderson rounds the net. She's got support. This is what's thing they're much better at. They slow it down, set it up, outnumber the opposition. Hootmaker up to Droogie. Droogie long. Uh, I don't think that's how they drew it up. No. But let's, let's get tied up and yeah. have a dump in. No, nope, probably not. But they yeah, win the retrieval. Sophie Sears, she's got time. She shoots oh, nice high and wide. Bauman settles it down. Back to Anderson at the point. Anderson to Hootmaker. Draws a check to her. Lily Anderson, oh, good stick by 19. Somebody's got to help Bauman. It can't be a one-on-one -on -one there. Bauman over to Sears. Back to Droogie. Droogie out to Hootmaker. Hootmaker shot off a stick. Lily Anderson, yeah, she didn't get all that she wanted. 20 seconds to go on the power play. Bootmaker, let's see if she slows it down or she just wheels. Oh, she's gonna slow it down, take her time. Got Anderson to her left. Anderson back to Droogie. Very well done. That's a good mm -hmm. connected exit and a good zone entry. All right, that's gonna be the end of the power play, but Tiger, the Wildcats Sophie. have it in the Tiger end. Sophie Sears wins the battle. Sophie back to Nora Droogie. Droogie dumps down to Sears. Sears, walk out, Sophie. Oh. Okay, nice thought. Three on one. Wow. That's an unforced error. Mm -hmm. Yep. If I'm Coach Holmes, I'm probably not real pleased with that. You I'm, have a three on one. Yeah, I think he's having a conversation. Well, nice, a nice conversation right now. Might uh, get a little more animated later. Or he's maybe a 15 year deal. veteran. Yeah. Hey, maybe he's good at hiding it. <laughs> maybe. Well, there are cameras in here, so maybe it'll be mentioned later. You know, I coach with the guy on the boys' side who might be a little more animated <laughs> that. And who might that be? That Coach Taylor, you know, he's oh, a middle school teacher. Right. He gets kind of wound up hanging with those little guys little, all week little, long. A little fiery? Yeah. All right, Lauren Murray back. Good physical play, good yeah. non-call. Katie Urich bringing good layered support there. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Uh-oh is right, I predicted that. Number 18, McKenna Taterly. Hmm. Not to be outdone by no. her twin sister. She's got to get on the board too. Right. Unfortunately, Wildcats left her wide open, high in the slot. 
Oh, just inside that post. She put a great just, shot. Yep. Yeah. Post just, it in. Yeah. I mean, nice shot. A bang bang play. Right. And just like that, the Wildcats are down two. Two twenty nine to go in the second. It's a great shot. Tough play. Yeah. Broken coverage in the D zone. Can only expect your goalie to do so much. Right. But get a goal, get right back in, get fired yep. back up. Yep. Scoring for just keep playing your game. That's not they, they played up. They played well. Mechanic just a couple Catalan. little little mistakes here and there. This that that can cost you 19, a game. Yep. Alexa Bricko and number two Abby Gierke. All right. Bootmaker back. Good body position to win that puck. Second period. Yurik chips it off the wall, but held in by Taylorlick. Taylorlick dumps it in. Steven Strength goal. Oh my goodness, there's a penalty coming up. Mm. I don't know who's against who. Nope, it's coming up must against the Tigers. Yeah, it must be Farmington. So the Wildcats are going to be able to close out the period on the power play. What was the call there, a hold? I am, we got to wait. I don't know for sure. So I thought I saw a motion by. I saw a body hit the floor, like the song said. Yeah, but there you go. Sing it, Eric. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's maybe later. Oh, maybe later. It's early. Patrick. Yeah, okay. yeah well, it is I'm, early. I'm, I will hold that. You might that might be late in the third. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be serenaded, folks. All right. Hang in there. Here we go. Sophie Sears, power play one's out there. Let's see if the Wildcats can put some connected passes together and get pucks and bodies Big opportunity. in front of the net. Minor penalty has been assessed to Farming. Sears to Drugi. Drugi across the red. Carries over the blue. The Dumps it herself. 19, She's going to go get it. Period. Farmington's Good retrieval. You got to win that puck now. You got two Wildcats. There you go. Good job. Oh my goodness. You know, that's a Dr. Alexander line. Oh I my goodness. I was just thinking that. I didn't want to interrupt you, you know there. But yeah, you know what? Uh, we're honoring uh, him it, by it, saying it that, is. by throwing that out. And, and, th and that, frankly, was oh my goodness worthy. Yes. So oh, good, la, good la, place. La, 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 la. See, that's the French version. There you go. One minute oh, wow. In the second period. One minute. So right now, the Wildcats are shooting themselves in the foot. Yep. They're on the power play. They talk about unforced errors. There's two passes that are just easy passes that are right to the defender. That's yep. not how you take advantage of a power play. Yep. All right, but here we go. Lily Anderson carries over center. She's gonna carry it in deep. Now is your chance. That's okay, you can oh. wheel the net and set it up now. We're on the power play. Somebody's gotta help her though. There you go. Oh, oh, back door. Good oh. play. Good play. Sophie was sneaking in there yep. by the far post. That was nice. If they connect, that's a tap Maya in. Carnes out to center. Anderson, she's tired. She needs a change. There's only three seconds to go. Okay. Nice thought, though, on that, though. That was, uh, yep. like again, if, if uh, Sophie connects on that, it's a tap in, and we're 3 2. But, yep. you know, still in it. Still a whole period to go. Yep. Farmington has 17 shots on goal now to Egan's 12. Uh, didn't go the way the Wildcats drew it up. They're gonna go back to the locker room and figure out what they can do at 20 seconds. And we will take a break in the intermission of the second period. Stay tuned, hockey fans. We'll be back to the third. See you soon.
I do have a dog. Her name is Maya. She's a super energetic boxer. But at the fire station, we have Sparky. Sparky's used for our fire prevention events. He'll teach you how to stay safe. Thanks, Sparky. How do wildfires start? Wildfires normally start when the weather is hot and dry. Wildfires can start for various reasons. Some of them are natural, like a lightning strike. Sometimes in Egan, we have wildfires start from trains causing a spark and hitting dry grass. Unfortunately, most of the time, wildfires are caused by humans. And that's from leaving a campfire improperly attended or from somebody throwing something out of a car window. Some of the stuff we use to put out wildfire are our brush truck, our brush brooms, and our brush water packs that we can actually carry around into deep areas and spray um, the wildfires and put them out. I built programming for kids to learn about design and incorporate things like Lego parts in their building and design projects. Fast forward to today, it's 17 years later. We have a wonderful partnership with the Lego store at the Mall of America. We have a partnership with the University of Minnesota's Architecture and Design School. Uh, we've also partnered with the Egan Foundation to create projects like this right here. I got a phone call from Brian Kelly with Young Lego Builders and Designers about two years ago and he was looking to do some Lego programming in Egan. His model didn't quite fit in with our community grants program but we talked and we figured out a way that we could help buy Legos and then Brian could find other support for the rest of the programming. It's important for me to work with youth because I really want to see them excel in the future. I think teaching and building career exploration uh, around youth is, is vital. It's vital to the future of our country. It's vital to the future of our world. Programs that work with youth are important for so many different reasons. To connect young people with other youth that they might not go to school with. Brian is working with Artworks. I think they might be displaying this beautiful piece of art that these kiddos are created. So we're really excited to partner with Brian on this. How far does the water shoot out of the hose? That's a great question. How far we can spray the water depends on a few things. The size of the hose that we're using, the nozzle, and the pressure that we're pushing the water out the hose. We also have nozzles that are attached to the fire truck and our top of our 100 foot ladder, so we're able to spray water really far and really high. The hand line, the hose line that you see us holding in our hands, can spray easily to the top of your house and even over the house. How many fires have you put out in a year? Luckily, in Egan, we don't have too many fires because of people like you learning about fire prevention and how to be safe. So we only have about five to seven house fires a year. However, we also respond to other fires like dumpster fires, car fires, and brush fires, which can be about 80 a year. On top of our fire calls, we're responding to medical calls as we're all EMTs too. So we're responding to every medical call within the city.
Welcome back to the Egan Civic Arena tonight. Heading into the third period, they're closing the Zamboni doors right now. So, after two, three to one, Farmington. Remember, would you like to be part of this? We're hiring. ETV is looking for a production crew member. It's an awesome opportunity for anybody looking into the visual arts. Learn how it's all done. Make some money. What an opportunity. Money's nice. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, this has been a fun gig. I've enjoyed this and uh, I think being involved in any way you can, whether you know, be uh, doing some of the wonderful camera work that we uh, were privileged to get or anything, I think to, to help out with this would be a fun job. And as an amateur, I can say the pros here are awesome. Yes. And they are such a great help putting the ball on the tee for people like us. It makes a big difference. Yes, so. it's very much appreciated. Yep. So great job to the crew. And thanks again for all you guys do. All right, looking back. Here we go. There's a little pop pass, as we call it, a pass off the pads. Say that quickly three times. Um, nope. And then there's her sister hitting the inside of the bar. Here was a chance to come back. Sophie Sears, she's going to want that one back. Just fluttered off the end of her stick. So the Wildcats had chances. I still don't think they have enough traffic in front of Kylie Curl. Yep. She's been, you know, to to be fair, she's made the saves she's supposed to save. Right. Um, most of them have been hitting her right in that Farmington logo, though. And she's done her job. She's swallowing it up. There's no rebound. But you got to take away her eyes. They got to create some more traffic so there are rebounds, like the first Wildcat goal. You would like to have seen a little bit more, too, with that uh, power play at the end of the second. That was yeah. a prime opportunity that uh, Farmington handed them to get right back in the game, you know, potentially be down by a goal heading into the third. Um, it's still 20 seconds to go on this power play, but this uh, this faceoff is gonna be a big deal. So you, li you like to see him get a goal in here early, put the pressure on Farmington. Yep. You know, hopefully get the equalizer soon after. You're absolutely right. Fresh ice, a fresh start. That was a mediocre power play. So let's get back on the hop, Wildcats. All right, top power play unit again. Three defensemen out there with Sophie Sears and Bauman. This power play has been much improved as of late. Let's see if they can do anything in the last 20 seconds here. Controlled by Drugi. She dumps, do they get a piece of it? No. All right, so there's gonna be 13 seconds left. Let's see what Coach Patachik does. Be interesting if he still, she still leaves this whole crew out there. And she does. Nothing. I mean, there's there's nothing. There's no risk here. You've right. got three defensemen and two good forwards. Yep. But face off one by the Tigers. Wow, that was close. Shit <laughs> high. So, not a great ending to the power play that Egan hoped. And here we go back to even Tigers strength. Full strength. Lily Anderson back to regroup. Comes up, chips off the wall. Good pinch there by the Tigers. And it's back in our own. Natalie Hootmaker up the wall. You know what, Farmington does a very good job angling and mm -hmm. forcing the Wildcats to the outside. Good observation. They're a, they're a well-coached team. Yeah. They're hard to play against. Forces and icing from the Wildcats. Yeah. All right, 16, 12 to go. Like you mentioned, the record may not show that, but again, 10 one-goal losses, you, you you win half of those and you got a You're whole right. completely different season. You can but see they are not far away no. from their wins. No, not at all. You can see why they're in the lead tonight. Yep, in a they lot don't, of games. They don't give a lot. Right. Face off one by the Wildcats. Weedham chips to center. No ice. Good hustle there. Good four check, a hard rim off the Wildcat door. Home team bounce there. Gonna That's going to be a nice. There's some funny bounces always off that door. Well, you know what? <laughs> it's like a pinball machine almost. So I saw that. That was a brand new door put in there two years ago. It was <laughs> brand new. And somebody didn't all the way close the door, and I saw the Zamboni door hit it. Ooh. And boom. That's mm -hmm. why it never quite closes right, and that's oh. why pucks come 
Kind of funny how things happen. Interesting, yeah. Huh. Interesting little backstory and there. there you go. Hmm. I, you know, the Zambonis are heavy, right? Uh, they got some weight. They look, yeah. Good shot by Hoopmaker. They do appear to be so. Yes. yes. <laughs> Not that I've been hit by one, no, but I'm not, not going to try to one off myself or anything. But I'm right. just thinking, uh, it doesn't look like it's made of styrofoam. Yes. So those boards got readjusted, mm. and I think they're going to be there the rest of their life now. <laughs> yeah. And that's not the first ice rink I've seen funny bounces in a corner like that. Yep, they all kind of their own unique things, don't they? All right, here we go. Regrouping on center, Lauren Murray. She snaps it wide, indirect pass off the wall, just out of reach of Katie Earp. Caitlin Berry intercepts across the line, runs into Katie Eric. 25 for the Tigers. A hard rim, but there's nobody home. And there's gonna be icing down to the right of Kylie Curl. I don't know, Eric, oh. I just getting the feeling the energy level all around is kinda low at this moment for both teams. Yes. So I, don't know I agree. I don't know if it's uh getting late. I don't know if it's just been a long hockey day, yeah. but uh, it just seems like the, the energy's not quite there. You're right. There's a great face off. Nora Drugi snaps one just wide. Good draw by Sears. Bauman looking for a wrap around. Good D though. And they check the center. No. It is a nice. Yep. So good pressure here by the Wildcats. Forcing Farmington just to fire it up the wall. Forced two icings in a row. But you're right, the Wildcats got to get a spark. Yeah. Because there's just kind of a lull since the first period was strong. Yes. Second period, not so much. Just a little disconnected. There's a two on one. Anderson's going to take the puck carrier. And that's watched go by by Whitehead. Farmington attacking again. Good stick up. by Nora Drugi. It's a good play to pick up, pick a stick. Dumped down by the Tigers. Anderson coming up through the middle. Hits Barry. Nice. Barry handles on her back end. We got a three on two if she hurries. Across center. Lucky bounce. Throws one Ooh. in front. Kuro swallows it up. I think she felt the pressure there of yep. another Wildcat coming down her, but good idea to Smart. crash that net, but she knew what was coming. Yep. All right, face off to the right of Kylie Caro. Sophie Sears line still out there with Caitlin. And Bauman to the right. One by, er, good play. Nice good quick, face off nice again, quick, great pass. shot. Yes, yep. great shot by Hootmaker. Good try by Bauman, get a stick on it. Back come the Tigers. A little toey toe drag, oh my goodness, almost another pop pass. I think Lucy meant to kick Look that out, out a little bit further. Watch behind you, Lauren. There she goes. Here comes the eighth grader, Lauren Murray, across center. That a girl. Uh, good hustle by Forrester to get back. Mm -hmm. And number 18, let's go. Handled. Number 18, that's McKenna. One of the goal scorers. Good pass. Oh. The Wildcats are going on the power play. He called a slash right there. Watch number 18. She's going to be shocked. She's jumping she's on the bench. She I'm has no idea. Around. She's like, wait, what? I'm not going to turn around. Wait a minute. Excuse me? Yeah. Uh, she's turning around like she kind of knew. Yep. Perhaps if I don't face the referee, yes. he will not come talk to me. She gave a little <laughs> chop. It wasn't huge, but enough. it was. Yeah. And it was right in front of the referee. And no. he's going to say, no, we don't do that. Here you go. Watch this. Oh, just just a bit happened right before that. But you appreciate them at least making yeah. the calls. All right. See if the Wildcats can get a power play going. Sears wins the faceoff, unfortunately. Good stick pressure by 26, forced an errant pass. Hootmaker hustles back, snaps to Drugi. Drugi. Oh, there you go, JC. It's a good swing play. JC's got Anderson trailing with her. Two minutes for slashing, time of the penalty. Three, Tigers aggressive. They're moving the just a couple quick passes. That's how you beat an aggressive kill. Two minutes minus Anderson two. picks up the puck, throws it. Ay, ay, ay. Wildcats got to settle down. They need to go back to 
All right, Anderson across the line. She carries through. She throws nice. one on net. Going okay. For that, going for that far post. Can't hurt. At least no. reset, get a face off down deep. I was going to say, just kind of, like I say, reset, catch yep. your breath. Realize you got some time on that clock. Don't force it. Well, we got the other power play, and that's good because power play, the first unit, they've had a lot of cracks at mm -hmm. the can, and they haven't got a lot done now. So let's see how Katie Urich's unit can do with Lauren Murray, Ava Meisinger. Meisinger back to Murray. Murray down low, just out of the reach of cards. Oh. Off the backboards, the lively backboards, like the old Joe Lewis Arena. <laughs> Used to be a set play by Nicholas Lidstrom. There you go. Nice play, Ava Meisinger. She snaps one off a shin pad, though, and the Tigers clear. 50 seconds remaining. Lauren Murray back. Good shoulder check. Good smart play. She's going to slow it down. Nice. Good fork check by two. There you go, Patrick. That's where, even in your own zone, you yeah. have to outnumber them. Yep. We have to have two players on the puck. It can't be a one on one. We got more players out there. We. I was so. not a math major, but we should have more <laughs> when than When there's that. one in the box, so should, right. we should have one more? Yep. Okay. Okay, 26 seconds. First power play unit's coming back on the ice. Let's see if they can control the puck, make something happen. Oh, no, they're doing a little different setup. They're putting Lauren Ludward out there this time. Hmm. This is a whole different unit. This is... This is a whole different look. Uh, maybe we'll hear a nickname I think for this. I think she's, she might be sending a message saying, you know what? I'm just going to throw hockey players out yeah, there and see what happens. If you can't yeah. set it up, well, I'm going to find somebody yeah. who can. Yeah, that could be. All right. Tiger Farmington kills seven. another one. Rum held in by Wedward and Anderson and Bauman. All right, dumped down. No icing. A lot of time for Lily behind the net. Sets up. Ooh, good four check. Sophie Sears, little chip to center. Just over the stick of Lauren Wedward, and there's another ice. All right, 11 minutes left. Still a ton of time. Mm -hmm. Still just. You like to see things aren't crisp tonight. Yeah, no, you know? you, yeah, no it's kind of dropped off. You like to see them if they get that goal, you'll see the legs yep. start churning. It's amazing how one goal to get yep. you back into a game yep. just gets your energy level up. So, let's see if we can't win this face off. You know, it starts there. You go. There's the home team bouncing. It starts though with little things mm -hmm. like putting a couple passes together. It's right. it's been a scrambly night. Ch it's gotten choppy. Yep. A lot. I mean, I, I don't. I feel like that first period we didn't hear a yes. lot of whistles, and now suddenly it's a lot yep. of icings, a lot of stoppages, and just you're not really finding any kind of rhythm. Katie Yurk to take the draw, wins it back. Much better on the faceoffs tonight for the Wildcats, but they're not coming up with much. There's a whistle. Let's call here. Oh my goodness. Interference. Huh. Is that Macy Weedham again? He did get Macy with him. I didn't see it. I don't think Macy saw it either. No, she <laughs> pushed it pretty hard. I politely it looked like, but still wondering. Yeah. Perhaps this uh, player spotlight's a bit of a curse. Apparently, it watch right be. here. I still don't see. Mm. That must have been behind the play. I'm, I'm anyway, gonna, I'm going to give him the benefit it is of the doubt. What it is. We didn't see it. Yep, they have the whistles. Yep, I'm not down there. It's a whole different. Ooh, that's a good shot. Nice save, Lucy Whitehead. Ooh. Nice play, nice. Hoop maker to block the shot. Got down and blocked that. All right. Tigers came to play on their PP. They're snapping Meyer around pretty good. The Getting the Wildcats moving around. Macy Wedham. Two minutes for interference. Time of the penalty, 6.15 of this. There, Hoop maker goes That's on the loose puck. Wedham. There you go. Interference. Not a bad play. She ran it low. This is trouble. Oof. Lauren Murray got a stick on it. All right. Okay, 41 good. seconds off the power play so far. Worked that down low pretty good pretty job. Well, though. They did. They had good control. 
but that cat's escape. Okay, Grace Forrester is out there with with J.C. Bauman, Nora Drugi, and Lily Anderson. Face off one by the Tigers. Katerlich over to number two, Gerke. Back to Katerlich. Katerlich, quick shot, deflected wide. Forrester decides, nope, she fakes. Drugi fakes. It's okay if they keep the puck on the boards, not much is gonna happen. Right. You'll let them have that. All right, you got time. And they just Going shot the it bench. off their coach. <laughs> <laughs> they got her last game too. Yeah. There were, uh, I think there were four or five shots into both benches. Did I say game. she was a goalie in college? Yeah. She made the save again. She did. Yeah, well, look at the replay. She's giving us her own replay, yep. own reenactment. Uh, Nora, you gotta hit the glass, not the coach. No, you'll, hit, you'll, you'll pay for that in practice. <laughs> All right. Right. Grace Forrester, good face-off win by J.C. Bauman and Grace to grind it out. Okay, 43 seconds to go on the power play for Farmington. Let's see if Tigers, oh, nice play, Grace Forrester, good stick, good anticipation. Keep grinding, Grace, draw a penalty, oh, look at that. Sophie Sears, there you go, use your big body, good puck protection at a girl. That's the kind of play that can inspire your teammates. Yeah, no doubt. You see something Back like to that. Forrester, Forrester. Dumps, oh, just out of the reach of Sophie Sears. Oh. Good PK right here, only nine seconds to go on the power play. Uh-oh, there's a bad hop. This is trouble. Oh. You seem to call these pretty well. <laughs> With two seconds <laughs> left on the power play, the Farmington Tigers, watch this. Two bouncing pucks, one over there, that got loose. And then was that number 19? 19. 19. Alexa Bricko got her sixth of the year. She mm. just snapped at five hole. It's a good hard shot. Yep. Tough yeah. one. Bit of a backbreaker. Yep. Okay, 8.46 to go. Tiger is up, four to one. Back come the Cats. Here come the Tigers across the blue. They dump it in. Their third line's out there. They got a bunch of young girls on their program. They've got a few seventh and eighth graders. Wow. You'll see that out there with this line. Hootmaker to Murray to Macy Weedham. Weedham off the glass. And the Farmington Tigers just got a roughing penalty. That's number 17, Addison Trapp. Addison's a ninth grader. And I didn't see it, but I she got a rough. It. Nope. So, the Wildcats get another chance. There's lots of time. Get one here, and you're back in the game. Yeah, be patient, don't panic. But they they got to get a sense of urgency. I mean, it's they're not panicking. I think it's yeah. kind of time to you know, well, <laughs> not panic. You, you, you know what I mean, yeah. right? You, well, they got to turn up the temperature here. Yeah. There you go, Nora Drugi, good hustle there. That's kind of what you need. Here come the Tigers. Dump it in, 26 pursuing. That's Morgan Mitchell all over Lily Anderson. Lily, good escape move. Skates away from trouble, up to Sears, to Bauman, to Anderson. Anderson dumps it in. Sears should be able to retrieve that. That's a good zone entry on the power play. Yep, there you go, there's Wildcats everywhere. Lily Anderson got a piece of somebody. All right, and they regroup. There's Natalie Hootmaker. Natalie snaps it across to Bauman. She's all alone though. Ooh, good shorthanded try by number 18. That's Mechanic here. Good play, all right, minute to go on the power play. And so far, not a lot of zone time. But, nope. uh, yeah, I, I kind of watching the bench. You can see the coaches getting a yep. little bit frustrated. The Wildcats tonight have kind of got away from what they were doing better on the power plan. Yeah. That was being connected. Short yep. little passes coming up together. You see lots of long stretch passes. 
but then that girl's all by herself. Right. There's no support for her. Like instead of being to make it a two on one, mm -hmm. we keep isolating to one on one plays. Yep. There's Maya Carnes. Good pass by Meisinger. Not generally going to win those. No. Right. Usually. Yeah. You're not taking advantage of the extra but what's person being, what's advantage. Being to you. That's right. Yep. Yurik, back to Meisinger. Meisinger down low. Macy Weedham out front. Lauren Murray, get it through Lauren. That's a good low oh, shot. There's nice a rebound. rebound. That's the right idea. Kadalik chips to center. Meisinger recovers. Meisinger up to Weedham. She got a piece of it and tipped it in. 6.40 to go in the game. 20 seconds left on the power play. Murray back to recover. She shoulder checks. She wheels to her forehand. She snaps it up. Katie Urich did not get a piece of that. Eight seconds left Oof. in the power play. Okay. Eight seconds to go. 6.26 to go. Yeah, just kind of one of those nights. Yeah, it not, is. They're not, not, not playing the, the way they've been recently, nope. what got them here. Not so. going their way. No. Good four check. Trugi busts through. Caitlin Berry picks up good support. Somebody's got to be with her. Caitlin dumps it in. Good pursuit by J.C. Bauman to get there. Nice little play by 22, though, a little reverse. Good hustle in there. Now, there's six minutes to go here, Patrick. Yep. The Wildcats are showing a little better effort on this shift, right? Mm -hmm. There's a little more pep, a little more sense of urgency. Yep. And what happened? What do we got? Just as I said that, the Wildcats took a penalty for a hook. Barry didn't realize it. Coach did. Caitlin Coach Barry. was telling her to go over. Yeah, I think she's saying go sit down. Yeah, yeah. I don't think she realized it. And, oh, all right. Two minutes to go. Farmington on the power play. You know, when was Dr. Alexander coming back? I remember the last <laughs> time I was here, I, I stepped in yeah. and Eastview got five power play goals the night I called that That's game. That's true. Well, he should be back. I, I'm sure he's home now. <laughs> he's, I, have a, I have a sneaking suspicion he's yes. back from the uh, so. frozen tundra. All right, <laughs> 22 over to 18, sister to sister shot on goal. Well done by Lucy Whitehead to swallow that up. I listened to a big chunk of that game you called. I don't remember the uh, the power plays. I'm going to take your word on that. They're five power. Oh, Eastview no. Eastview won five nothing. Yes, that's right. Okay. And they were I a perfect. Up, I read about it later. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Minor penalty has been assessed to Egan. Good play, Drugi. Caitlin Berry, two minutes for hooking. Held in, though, penalty, by Kaderlich. Anderson Egan battles. Berry, two minutes hooking. Pucks on the wall. Ooh, there's a little pick. Ooh, oh, nice play. Good play by uh, Lucy Whitehead. Got her stick to poke that centering pass away. Nora goes for a change. Ava Meisinger, she's buzzing. Here comes Katie Yurick. Good angle, but they enter the zone. Anderson blocks that pass. Lily Anderson barrels over number 19. Katie Yurick, here we go, and the puck's out. All right, 34 to go. On the power play, 4.23 to play in the third. Sophie Sears, good hustle to get down there. Here comes Katerlik across both lines. She's into the Wildcat zone. She's going to slow things down behind the net. And they don't mind doing this at all. They're no. up by a couple. No. They're up by three, so yes. why not? No rush. There's a loose puck in the corner. Grace Forrester gives chase. Grace battling hard. Two seconds left in the power Egan play. Egan back to full strength. Oh, that's a good little play. Here comes J.C. Bauman. She's got Sophie Sears coming. It's a two on one. J.C. backhand pass. There's oh, a loose off puck. The good save by the goalie. Yeah. That's not easy when no. it's a. You're expecting it might yes. be off the stick and no. you're not expecting right. the skate. Exactly. So yeah, that was a good heads up play. That easily could have been five hole. It's good try, good hustle. Yep. Good pass. 
Good hustle by Sophie to crash the net. Wildcats needed more of that tonight. Yeah, a little bit. I was going to say a little bit more of that yep. earlier. Right. I know the last game uh, there was a lot of give and goes by yep. uh, by Sears and Bauman, and yep. I don't know that I saw that so much tonight. Right. Which credit to Farmington's yep. defense. Yep. Like I said that you know what. They controlled the center of the ice. They yes. did a good job angling and pushing us Outside. wide. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier. There's yep. an ice. Very true. I mean, they played a played a smart game. Egan, last game, did a much better using the center as a breakout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's either the center wasn't available today or the defenseman didn't see the center available today so they kept going up the wall and guess what yep farmington was on the wall every time they did the score's going to be a similar i mean the yeah. last game was a 3-1 loss but this right. one has a different vibe for sure completely different feel yes. you felt like they were in that one well, to the end and this oh, yeah. one third period's kind of meh where you can you're the last game the opposing goalie stole the game. Right. She stole the show, right? Agreed. She was the, yeah, yeah. that was the difference? Yeah, she had that uh, 931 save percentage, right. I want to say, some, yep. somewhere around there, and, and she showed it, so yes. Yeah. All right, two minutes to go. Here comes Farmington. Number two, Abby Gerke snapped it over Lucy's head. And Nora's gonna chip down. So nice. Two minutes and four seconds to go. Face-off will be to the right of Whitehead. All right. Not sure what's going Nora's on. I was having a bit of an animated conversation with the refs. I'm not sure what's she going on. She might have said, I lost my mouth guard somewhere down mm. there. Nope. Look at that. There, hey, there's a puck sitting on the glass. Hmm. Way to go, Nora. Okay, Hayden Olsen to take the draw. Could win. Hootmaker wheels the net. Bumps back to herself. Back to the point. Good shot, just went wide. Lauren Murray gives chase. Scott Hayden Olson with her. Got Forrester on the other side. Well played by the Farmington defenseman. Maya Carnes gives chase back. Good job using her body, to protect the puck. Laura Murray back behind her own net, up on her backhand. She's gonna carry to center. Time to dump and change. Nice confident run. Yep. One, One minute and 10 eight. seconds. Last minute of the third period. Yeah. One minute remaining in the third period. We can't end it on a, on a nice, uh, on a good note. Let's we'll see yep. what happens here. Okay, 50 seconds to go. Looks like a fan favorite for the Farmington Tigers. Must be getting a shift. I was gonna say, it must be someone getting out there, which is always nice to Let's see a see. kid getting out there that maybe doesn't normally get the ice time. 28's an eighth grader. I wonder mm. if it's her. Number 11. I haven't seen number 11 out there. Maybe it was I her. I don't think so. Yeah, I think so as well. And she might have just got an assist. <laughs> yeah, she got her moment. Yep. Made the most of it. Good on her. Egan hammers it down. Twenty-one to go. Well, gotta feel good for Farmington. They yeah. came in like coach uh Holmes told us they've been averaging 34 shots a game. They just have been on the wrong end of them. And tonight they've got 27. Yep. Four goals to show for it. The pucks went in for them tonight. And uh, 
You say they played very good defense against the Wildcats oh, tonight. So you got to tip your hats. Yep. But, uh, you just got beat. Yep. Simple as that. Yep. Anderson shoots. Glove save by Kylie. I believe uh, Far Farmington is up on us in the conference by a game, I want to say. So it may have been tied after this. So uh, keep in that distance. Yep. Right. So now they're going to go to 4 and yep. 12, and Egan will go to 2 and 12. Right. Two seconds to go. I think the timekeeper absolutely hit stop. <laughs> yeah, I, don't think they, I, think, I think we could have let that go, yeah, and everyone would have left and happy. I don't think anybody no, would have argued. I don't think we would have screaming over that. No. no. Doubtful. Well, there you go. There Wildcats go. return to play on Tuesday night. Yep. Uh, against Moundsview. Yes. So they host a non-conference game against Moundsview Tuesday. The Wildcats play Tuesday. They play Thursday and Saturday. Saturday. So they have four games in seven days. Mm -hmm. So there won't be a lot of time to practice. Nope. Uh, they'll just have to flush this one and come back strong. So exactly what I was thinking. Tuesday just flush night. out, let it go. Yep. It's just a just a bad game and. Uh, Get back, yep. watch some of the film from the earlier from yep. the earlier games and uh, go back to what you were doing. It was working. Yep. So, no. Nope. I'm sure the coach is already thinking about what she needs to show him yep. uh, from tonight and, and hopefully yep. won't see it ever again. Yep. <laughs> yep. Final score of the yep. But credit goes Farmington to the Farmington Tigers. Tigers. Yeah, absolutely. They played well tonight. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Thank you to our great staff. Thank you to the little chippers for coming out and making well, we a showing to tonight. Yep. yep. Thanks for stepping in. You're welcome. Fun working with Thank you. It was a good you. time. Likewise. Yeah, it was happy, a blast. Yeah, happy uh, Hockey Day, Minnesota, everyone. That's Hope you had a fun day watching some hockey, doing some festivities, things of that nature. Drive safe, everybody. Stay warm. I was say, stay warm, yes. All right, folks. Good night. Take good night, care. everybody.